so in a different video, I showed polarizations of antennas, and I used something called a wire grid polarizer. So if you haven't seen that, I suggest you go watch that. It's a polarization that is just a bunch of parallel wires. Um, you can see here in this macro photograph, uh, the polarizer is just um, wires all parallel to one another, and they're not connected in any way. Um, this particular one was made with uh, five mil wide wires and five mil spacing. Um, and uh, my friend has tested this up to 20 gigahertz, so it actually works fairly well. I was using it at one gigahertz in the video. So, so people say, okay, well, fine, that's a weird polarizer, and that's only for certain things. And, you, you know, regular polarizers that's used in sunglasses are probably very, very different. Well, they're not. Um, polarizers in sunglasses are wire grid polarizers of a type. Um, so uh, how is that possible? You know, I've never, under a microscope, you know, you don't see any little wires and stuff. Um, you can actually buy polarizers made for visible wavelength light that are just actual physical wires. You can make really, really, really small ones, and there are companies that do that, and you can actually uh, operate at visible wavelengths. So um, much, much smaller, of course, than five mils. Um, but uh, how do you do it in plastic polarizers, um, plastic film polarizers like those used in, in, in polarizing sunglasses? Well, it's actually uh, little bitty wires made of iodine. And uh, these little bitty wires are all stretched out in length in the plastic. And the way they do that is with polymer chemistry. They create long polymer chains as the backbone of the plastic. But then they put in these iodine uh, atoms, and those iodine atoms align themselves to the polymer, and they create little uh, strips of wire that are aligned with those plastic molecules. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. There are different ways to get those iodine modules to line up, uh, different chemistries, but they're all basically this little wires made out of uh, iodine. Well, how do you get them all to work in a straight line? Well, that's was the invention of Edward Land, who came up with the polarizer. The, the, the plastic one, is that you put these polymers in in uh, these basically plastics and then you stretch them. And as you physically stretch the sheet of plastic, uh, these long polymer chains will be stretched and they will all kind of be stretched into parallel sections. And those little iodine wires will align, you know, they will continue to be aligned to those molecules and you'll end up with wire grid polarizer made out of plastic um, and iodine.